Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Mackenzie here with La Fontaine Classics over in Milford, Michigan, showing you a 46 Chevy pickup. So we've got a three speed here. Third. This thing feels very tight. It uh, first gear is totally a creeper gear, so I've been starting in second and then hitting right into third. It's doing very well. Not too bad over the bumps. This is a a uh, half ton pick em up truck here. We got the 46 moving up the speed here, coming up on a little bend. That is uh, quite the fun driving experience. It feels like you're driving an old piece of farm equipment almost, but definitely gets it done. The front end is where we're gonna start for the tour and show you some details here. Um, these fenders, they're big and beautiful, and they are steel. A lot of the repop parts they sell for these trucks are fiberglass. I was very excited to know this one has its steel body, which is awesome. Our grill, this thing is gorgeous, um, and it is in very, very nice shape. Um, there's a lot of pieces that make all this up and they're all present and shined up to the nines. Look at that. You can see our reflection in it. Got a beautiful chrome bumper down below as well. Then all our lights, our lenses are in place, looking good and match the, the condition of the rest of this truck, which is almost in a, a like new restored condition here. Now this hood, you see we have a hinge seam down the middle. If you haven't seen it, now you have. Um, either half of this can flip up. And you can check out all sorts of goodies up underneath here. Little dainty carburetor. Got our nice little beluga horn. Look at that valve cover. I think it's painted in the same color the exterior of this truck is. Um, see the hoses, lines, everything in here looks pretty darn new. You even see you got um, new belts, a, a new uh, hose on a radiator there. Very clean, well detailed. This thing hasn't, uh, hasn't seen much but some parade laps. And it shows, it really does. I'll lock that into place just like that. And this can function on either side. You can do the same thing. We'll check out the other side in just a moment. Um, we got some black steel wheels with the beauty rings and the dog dish caps. I really like the detail in these beauty rings. They have that ribbed barrel in there. Very neat. Oh, we got some nice big running boards here. Hope you get in and out and grab a hold of your things. Those are in very nice shape, nice and solid. Our bed here, you see these bed sides are straight as an arrow. Our rear fenders look great. And a rear bumper looking very stout. And you notice there's only one tail light on the back of this truck. That's all that was required back in 46. We'll show you the operation of the tailgate now. There we go. All right, and as we come down the passenger side, 
We see a lot of the same detail here. Nothing has been missed. Back of the cab we'll touch on here briefly. It's very nice. We got a good looking seal, a good looking rear pane of glass. And this pinstripe goes entirely around this cab, which is very neat. Have our fuel fill here and our handle. And then just one lock on the, this era of truck. All right, so you see our interior here is all paint mesh as well. The inner door cards, the whole window frame, the jams, even the dash is all finishes in the same uh, tone of red, which is gorgeous. Um, top little apron up here looks very nice. A gorgeous mirror, some polished little buttons. Even the slide holding the headliner in has also been painted. Not a detail missed. Have a nice recovered vinyl seat here, looking very good. The back of the cab here looks nice and sharp as well. And we'll talk briefly here about our instruments. Got a nice steering wheel and just beyond that we have the original gauge cluster showing us our coolant temperature, our fuel level, our battery amp amperage as well as the oil pressure. And this one shows just 11,000 miles it has a speedometer going all the way up into 100 miles an hour. We have our choke lever here and our throttle pull. Depending on where you want this thing set and what you're doing with it, it's very versatile given those couple of knobs there. We have our floor shifted three speed. And you see we have our reverse lockout over here, which is pretty trick. And just beyond that, we've got a very fun parking brake. Now on the floor, we have our starter, our accelerator pedal, our brake, and our clutch. And just on the left over there, we have a switch to click on the brights. This little box under here is your heater. This has also been restored in a very nice original piece. And in our glove compartment, trimmed out with uh, some nice cardstock there, just like it would have been from the factory. Not much going on. Um, got a couple cool cranks in the middle. If you want to know anything more or see anything more on these trucks, check out the link in the description. That'll take you to our website listing. You'll get a full write-up, uh, restoration details, where this thing's been, and a full photo gallery. So we put them up in the air, we take all the shots downstairs, show you the ins and the outs. This is a really well-equipped, finished pick-em-up. Uh, you don't come across this vintage in this kind of condition too often. Um, if you want to uh, hit us up now, you can call us at 248. 714-2110. I'll put that as well as our email down in the description too. Thank you guys uh, from La Fontaine. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed.